Speaking of education investigations, Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan's new Education Indoctrination Task Force, which we just mentioned, still getting together later this week. This investigation doesn't seem to have slowed down that scrutiny. The task force was put together last month to, quote, examine indoctrination in Idaho education and to protect our young people from the scourge of critical race theory, socialism, communism, and Marxism. She says her constituents believe this to be, quote, one of the most significant threats facing our society today, end quote. Even though there has been little or no evidence of this happening anywhere in Idaho. But that hasn't stopped them from having these hearings to hear about these anecdotal accusations. What they plan to do after hearing them is also still a bit vague. But late last week, we did learn the group's starting lineup. And there are several familiar faces, including Representative Priscilla Giddings, who announced her plans to run for lieutenant governor. She did that last week. She's going to be the committee's co-chair. Other members include a member of the Idaho Freedom Foundation, a North Idaho evangelical reverend, and the former head of a Nampa charter school who once fought to use the Bible in public schools. There are also several current and former Idaho teachers, administrators, and school board members listed on that task force as well. You can see a lot of conservative figures in that group. But what about that broad perspective Dr. Trump was hoping for? Well, we got this question on Friday after the show. What qualifications were used to choose members of the McGeehan Indoctrination Commission? We're not exactly sure, but we did ask the Lieutenant Governor's Office for some clarification on that, and we have yet to receive an answer, which has become a pattern. The task force's first meeting coming up this Thursday from noon to 5 at the Lincoln Auditorium at the State House. The public is invited to attend the scheduled five hour long meeting. Not that the public is invited to participate. Questions and testimony will not be allowed.